Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to today's webinar. Today's topic is pretty straightforward. How does VISTA and our customer relationship management partner, Potential, work together? My name is Carrie Lawson, and I've been with Viewpoint for eight years. I am the partner marketing representative, and my job is to help our customers understand how our various partner solutions could help their business. Today, we're learning about Cosential, our customer relationship management partner. Viewpoint has been partners with Cosential for five years and currently has a couple hundred joint customers that understand the value of having a construction-specific tool for marketing, bidding, and securing more work. Cosential is a great example of why Viewpoint partners with industry leaders to provide a much better solution than we could ever build ourselves. So, I am pleased to introduce two others that will join me for this discussion. First, we have Andy Hughes from Cosential. Hi, Andy. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Andy is the head of both sales and client success at Cosential. He is a tenured and proven tech leader with experience in building teams, managing teams, and maximizing efficiencies within the sales process. Next, and saving the best for last, we have Kim Fulgate with r &H Construction. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us, Kim. Kim administers both r &H's content management and CRM system with Vista. Kim has taken her firm from start to finish with the bi-directional sync between Cosential and Vista. She's joining us today to discuss her usage of both products and the benefits of their integration with each other. She is also going to give us some great insight on her experience that we can all learn from, sharing with us tips and lessons for those considering an integration such as this. Kim is joining us to represent r &H Construction, actually based right here in Portland, Oregon with us. r &H is a mutual customer of both Cosential and Viewpoint, having been a Viewpoint customer since April 2012 and with Cosential since September 2015. Consistently ranked as one of the best places to work in Oregon, r &H has drawn the top talent in the industry to deliver value throughout the construction process. The growth over the last 30 plus years has been compounded by repeat negotiated business that has been directly attributed to their high caliber people on staff, many of whom have been with the company for 20 years or more. Kim, how do I do here? Anything you wish to add about your awesome firm? No, I just think like that this, this is a good representation of who we are, and we are a mostly negotiated um, general contractor here in the Pacific Northwest, and the since 1979, and you now we're excited about about talking to you today about Potential and Viewpoint, or just us. Yeah. We're so excited to have you. Thank you. We can't tell you enough how much we appreciate you joining us today. So today's agenda is pretty straightforward, and we should easily get you all back to it by the half hour. We've already covered our panelists, and now we're going to hear from Andy for a brief moment on what a CRM is along with how and why construction firms are using and adopting customer relationship management solutions more and more. Then we'll cover how a CRM can integrate with your VISTA solution, and of course cover the benefits of the integration within your day-to-day -day workflows. With that foundation laid out, we'll then hear it firsthand from Kim, who is very familiar with both tools and has been heavily involved as both an administrator and the user of the tools. Through a series of questions, we'll get out of Kim what the benefits are as she sees them, hear firsthand how the integration works at R&H Construction, and we'll end with the candid thoughts and suggestions from Kim regarding things you should know about when making the connection. We can thank her for being an early adopter of the bi-directional sync and hopefully help you avoid making assumptions or mistakes when connecting the two tools. Sound good? So, Andy, not to undermine the knowledge of what a CRM is to anyone on the session who has one, but knowing the concept is still relatively new in the construction industry, can you give us a quick and brief overview of what a CRM is and the benefits it brings to our customers? I sure can. Thank you very much, Carrie. Um, and before I jump in, thank you to Viewpoint as well. We're, we're honored to be here and thrilled for the opportunity to meet with you guys. Um, this has been a, a very strategic partnership for Cosential as well as for Viewpoint, and 
um, you know, providing a good customer experience throughout this process and the integration process and, you know, just simply being a customer of both firms um, is very important to us. So uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to, to be here and to present. Um, and I also want to call your attention real fast, uh, everybody on the line, if you can look into your GoToWebinar panel, uh, we do have some documentation if you'd like to download it. Um, you can also use that uh, GoToWebinar panel to ask questions, so feel free to go into the question section and, and punch in some questions. We're happy to answer those live for you. Uh, we have some folks watching that queue right now in case you have questions. We can make sure that we address them for you quickly. And of course, if you want any additional information outside of this webinar, uh, you can feel free to reach out to uh, either company, either Viewpoint or directly to Cosential if you'd like some more information or want to set up a demonstration of what the, uh, the integration looks like. So uh, thanks again, Carrie. Um, I'm going to jump in here with, you know, what is a CRM? Um, what does a CRM mean to a company like yours? Um, and, you know, I think it's important to understand a, a CRM from its most uh, basic conception. So the acronym CRM simply stands for Customer Relationship Management, um, and it's a tool that companies use to track their relationships, their sales, their leads and their opportunities, uh, tracking who they're talking to, when they need to talk to them again, why they need to talk to them again. Um, it's all about uh, really understanding that the reason folks are winning business in your industry is because of relationships. Um, you know, if you're waiting to get the RFP, you're waiting too long. You can win projects, you can win jobs before RFP even hits if you're strategically uh, managing relationships, and that's what CRM is all about. So for a company like yours, for folks in the AEC industry, I think we need to look a little bit past what the traditional acronym really means uh, because customer relationship management might lead some folks to believe that a CRM is only used to track their client relationships. Um, now, it is used to track your client relationships, but in addition to just your clients, a tool like Cosential or any CRM system should really be used to track all of your relationships, whether they're clients or not. So partners that you work with, vendors that you work with, suppliers, um, all those different uh, pieces and parts of a project, the architects you worked with, the engineers you worked with, all those things should be tracked within a CRM system because those are all valuable relationships and you can learn a lot from simply understanding the context of those relationships, who knows who, uh, because really that's what gets you into new jobs. Um, so with that in mind, uh, we've created a couple uh, images for you guys to, to wrap your head around that sort of represent what this uh, might look like. Now, before we jump into uh, to those specifics, the reason we're doing CRM at a high level is to improve process, right? We can't document and improve a process if we're not able to measure it. And so it's all about uh, collecting information so that you can analyze that information and get better. What you want to accomplish with CRM is identifying why you're winning so we can do more of that and why you're losing so we can stop doing those kinds of things. Now, a traditional CRM system, um, and this, you know, likens to tools like Salesforce, um, Dynamics, you know, all the sort of traditional big CRM names that you're familiar with, uh, they have a limited view on what kind of business you run. So a traditional CRM system that's not built specifically for the AEC industry is going to focus on these kind of, of objects that you see here. Now, there's a lot of dots here, right? And all these different dots are, let's go one slide back. So these, these touch points represent what a traditional CRM is going to do for you. Um, for a typical company who sells products, widgets, things, this can cut it, right? We're going to sell them 10 of these at this cost. This is our total sales price and close the deal, move on to the next customer. That's what a traditional CRM is built to do. Now, as we discussed, a CRM that's built for your company in your industry is going to reach out a lot wider than just your clients. We're also interested in your partnerships, your suppliers, uh, associations that you're involved with, uh, subcontractors that you work with, because all of these different relationships, they all lead to new opportunities, new chances to sell your services, new chances to find projects, um, and so, you know, if you can wrap your head around the amount of information that we have on this slide, um, what we're talking about here is 
a traditional CRM system is only going to get you so far. They, they, they don't truly understand your business, um, and you really need to, to look a little bit deeper. You know, the marketing world of, of the AEC industry is different. You know, proposal management is a, um, an activity in and of itself that a CRM system should be able to help with. Um, so, you know, this marketing piece is, is critical to CRM users um, within your industry. Now, when we start to talk about the integration and why it's important to integrate your financial system with your CRM system, um, it's really quite simple. Um, as you're tracking information in your financial system, things are going to change. So the way we have positioned to win a project may be completely different than how that project actually comes to fruition. And so the reason that we're going to integrate a tool uh, like Cosential with Viewpoint is so that we can share information back and forth and so that everybody can be reading off of the same sheet of music. So what you see in front of you are just some examples of information that Cosential is going to pull out of Viewpoint so that we can leverage this information to go win more business. So, um, you know, these are examples of fields within Viewpoint and Vista tools that can automatically sync over uh, to Cosential so that as these things change, right, as the staff that works on a project change, we can keep um, the folks that are using Cosential up to date with those changes. As the costs of a project change uh, by, um, you know, change orders and, and anything else that might affect the cost of the project, the sales team needs to be aware of that because the sales and marketing team are using these metrics to go win more business, so it's important for them to have accurate information at their fingertips when they need it. So this is the kind of information that we're going to pull out of Viewpoint and populate in the Cosential for those sales and marketing users. Now the flow of information is important as it relates to this bi-directional integration that we have uh, between Cosential and Viewpoint. And so let me please use this illustration in front of you and sort of talk you through how that flow of information works. So you're going to use Cosential to track the potential sale of a project. So you're going to manage the lead and the opportunity to sell within Cosential. Now at a certain point, you're either going to win that project or you're going to lose that project. If you win that project, it's important that you take all the information that you gathered during the sales cycle and get it into Viewpoint so that you don't have to start from scratch and go recreate the wheel, go re-enter the same information that you've already collected. So upon winning a new project in Cosential, we're able to automatically send the project details over to Viewpoint and to the Vista tools so that you can initiate that new project with the information that you've already gained. Once it hits Vista, you're going to move forward with that project and you're going to perform on that project. As the project moves forward, things are going to change. The staff team's going to change, the costs are going to change, the dates are going to change. All that information as it happens in Viewpoint will be real-time updating Cosential so that the sales and marketing folks using Cosential are privy to those important changes. All right, so we're going to jump to Kim now. Um, I think, you know, all the hypothetical, this is how it could work, this is how it should work is important, but, you know, how does it really work is what it's all about. Um, Kim has been a fantastic customer. I've worked directly with Kim personally, and Kim's worked with our uh, development team, worked with our, uh, with, with our integration team to deliver the integration. She's been uh, wildly patient. Uh, she's a fantastic customer. I'm thrilled to have her on the phone with us right now. Um, before we dive into the specifics of Cosential um, and your experience with Cosential and Vista at RNH, Kim, would you mind just giving us a quick background um, on kind of how you came to be at RNH and uh, kind of what responsibilities you oversee? Sure. Um, I've been at RNH for 12 and a half years, and I started out in, as part of the accounting team, and um, I paid all of our subcontractors, which made me wildly popular with all of our subs. Um, and then from there, I moved into more of a job costing role, so I set up jobs. I um, And then currently, I'm on the IT team and helping support and administrate um, different database systems. And that all that experience has given me a touch on almost all of this stuff, and um, so I've also become kind of in a trainer role here at RNH2, so I help help people learn and adopt 
new new methods um, with Vista and then with Cosensual and other and other systems too. All right, awesome. Thank you. Are you ready to jump into some uh, some Vista Cosensual questions? Let's do it. All right, cool. So first off, you know, a lot of a lot of companies that are in your position are considering right now, um, you know, do we really need a CRM system? And you know, sometimes um, you know that's not a, a yes or no question; it's a conversation folks have internally. Um, why do you think that that R and H moved to adopt a CRM system? What what was the driving force? Well, I think it it began. Um, it was birthed in our um, marketing department. They were excited about the organization of historical data, that, um, how we could, they could put together, um, you know, proposals and have all of that information at their fingertips without having to tax our IT department to develop a report or an inquiry or something of that nature. Um, and they could kind of do it on their own and, and grab that data. And it and it grew from there because as we understood the CRM better, we we understood um, the business development aspect and just how that could help us really um, strengthen that um, knowledge and, and by sharing it across all of our team because everyone is involved in business development. Um, and we have a business development team, but other people in our building touch our customers and clients all the time. And we are we negotiate most of our most of our work, but um, conversations happen. And then our our business development person walks into a meeting, and they have no idea the conversation that happened without something like a CRM to pull it all together for them. Because you know. And the worst, the worst time to learn about a conversation is when your when your client is telling you what someone else has already told them, and and you should be, you know, in the loop. But so that we're hoping to close that gap, um, set some goals, um, work in new market sectors, and be able to track wins and losses. So we're we're diving in. We're excited about it. Yeah, that's great. And you know, I I think what you said there is critical because you know, and we we find the same. At, at my organization at Cosential, when you have multiple people touching any client account, you, you need to keep it straight. You know who's talking to who, what are they talking about, and you know the CRM system is is one centralized place that anybody in the firm can go to and see that. Um, I have another question for you. You know a lot of firms that that we talk to, um, you know they they kind of work off of that 80/20 rule, right? Where most of their of their revenue is generated by a subset of their customers, and those are repeat customers who continue to come back. Um, for more business, um, do you think folks like that still need a CRM system? Do you think? Uh, I mean, I guess what's what's your response to that overall? You know, our our clients are all repeat clients, so we don't necessarily feel like we need to to track those relationships. How do how do you respond to that? Well, we are one of those general contractors. Most of our work is negotiated, um, and we found that well. My business part, uh, my business development team is very, 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 very excited. One, they have data at their fingertips, so when they are walking into a meeting or they get a phone call from a client, they can pull up and look at, and I mean, in seconds, like what have we done for them? What have we bid for them? What you know, how many jobs have we bid for them and won or lost? And what what have we completed for them? Who's the project manager that's working with them right now, or just did, or a superintendent? All of that. It's right there at your fingertips. And then we also are um, we're, we're in the middle of a, a large um, group that started r &H Construction is really reaching their retirement age. And they, they carry all of that historical data around in their brain. <laughs> so we're dumping those information and assign, you know, as we assign all of the clients to certain people, when that person leaves, we can know how to transition those to someone else. We can identify those people. And it really, we feel like it's preparing us well for succession, for you know, the succession plan and just for strategic changes that we're doing as a company to grow and, um, and want to be, you know, work in different sectors that we haven't um, pursued thus far. Excellent. That's, that's fantastic. Um, so, 
you know, prior to jumping into CoCentral, it sounds like, you know, a lot of the value and benefit that you guys get on the business development side um, out of CoCentral is really in centralizing that information and giving your folks a, a single place to understand the full context of any client account. How how was that handled prior to a tool like CoCentral? Like, what what was the day in the life of, of those folks before they started using the CRM system? You know, were they looking into multiple systems? Was it taking them a, a bunch of time to track down information? Was it a Was it a cost factor? Um, you know, how, how did things look before CoCentral? Well, I think um, we have the benefit here of having, um, you know, we have Vista, and we use it to its nth degree. We have a, a developer here who can um, really maximize the value out of Vista. So we felt like we were doing pretty good um, and until <laughs> we saw what CoCentral could do because um, they didn't, our, our teams don't have access to the data, you know, like they would go in and enter their opportunities into Vista, which was great, except for hmm, they only entered them when they reached a certain point. They only entered them if they had, you know, odds. So we were losing so much data that we knew that we had to change something. So um, so day in the life before was this um, Using using the step, but but not not to its full extent, and not give and not giving us all the data that really we 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 needed to know. Sure, that's that's fantastic, and you know it's it's interesting to me um, that 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 use case you know is is so important to be able to centralize information, um, and what we hear from our customers a lot of times is that you know the folks who need that information are going crazy internally because it's like beating their head up against the wall to find it. You know, they're tracking down project managers and asking project managers about projects that they did three years ago, and they're putting requests into IT for reports out of Vista, um, and, you know, spending a lot of their time just sort of spinning their wheels trying to get information as opposed to doing, you know, the valuable stuff and selling and creating proposals. And um, so, yeah, that, that's great feedback. Um, how about the the – the Vista Sync. So when you guys set up the Vista integration, um, did you guys dive right into the bi-directional integration, or did you guys start with a one-way integration and find that the bi-directional was more important? You know, how does the bi-directional piece kind of speak to your workflow? We started one-directional, and then we helped develop and move into this um, two-directional. Um, and it's all about um, ease of entry. <laughs> And ease of because we need Vista to do what it does. You know, we need Vista to manage our projects and to write our subcontracts and all of those things. And I, we want CoCentral to help us with business development and marketing and being able to put ourselves out in front of customers and clients with all of their data in the right places. And for me to get my team to use CoCentral and and to you know buy in and want to do it, there has to be no extra work, right? And this was the win-win. Cosential is so easy to use, and it and it collects all other bits of data that Vista didn't. So we get a huge win there, and it pushes the information we need over to Vista. And then we can take off. Our project teams can take off from there and and run. And nobody feels any sort of there's no pain involved. So a huge win. Awesome. Were there any specific field needs that you guys had? Um, any any kind of critical? Hey, if this is going to work, we have to make sure that these specific fields stay in to sync. And and what kind of fields are you guys keeping in sync with the two systems? I think that's something that a lot of folks on the phone are thinking about right now. Is you know what information is is that critical nature information that should be synced back and forth? Well, the greatest thing about this is that you can modify it and add fields and do whatever you need and collect data that you want in Vista, right? And so those are, the ones you've added are the most important, those UD fields, the ones that you have, have the critical pieces that help distinct different functions and you know, workflows for, for your team. So for us, we are no different. We've added fields and designed things and calculations and, um, and Cosential just said, okay, this is what it's like. They were able to map all the fields that we wanted and needed and um, and utilize all that functionality and not lose any of what we built in Vista. Um, we were able to just maintain that and, and just kind of get the added bonus of having Cosential 
be the, the be the BC collector at the start. And, well, and that's specific, that's great. Yeah, and specifically, I don't know. There's all kinds of different fields, but but I mean, like any field you have, any field we had, they were able to help us connect. Yep, and that's great feedback because you know when we set out to build this integration, um, you know. So many customers use Vista tools in so many different ways, and there's so much ability to customize it and to sort of make it your own. And so when we developed the integration, it was important to us to make the integration as flexible as Vista is so that we could match that flexibility and make sure that any of that critical information, because just like you said, when you create a user-defined field, you're not doing it for fun. You're doing it because that's a critical piece of information for your company that you must collect. And so to not be able to sync that information over, you know, that would seem crazy. So we had to build that integration to be as flexible as, as Vista is with their user-defined field. So great, great feedback. So what if, what if the Vista CoSential connection didn't exist? You know, what if you were using CoSential as a CRM system, Vista as, a, as an ERP and accounting system, and the two didn't speak to each other? What would, uh, what would the world look like for your team? I think we would wonder why we were why we were using Cosential. <laughs> I mean, really, I think we would we would someone would be doing double entry, and I hope that it wouldn't be me. But um, that would have to be in place, and I, I guess just the efficiency of starting in one system and going to another, I just would totally plummet. Um, and honestly, I don't think without it, we wouldn't have really moved forward with Cosential because we needed it. We needed to be able to still use Vista. To its, you know, potential, the full potential that we are, and this was going to be an add, add-on, an enhancement, not something that was going to set us back efficiently. Well, and and, and I can personally testify to that, Kim, because you know, as as a customer success leader here at Cosential, my job is to drive adoption amongst customers, um, and so I want my customers using the tool. And so I remember very distinctly when you and I engaged, and I questioned. You know the the limited use of Cosential. You were very quick to point out, hey, once you once we get these two systems integrated, we're going to take off and fly on Cosential. But until then, I don't really want to use it. And that was absolutely the truth. And um, and that's exactly what we saw. You know, once the systems got connected, um, you know, your use case changed completely. Um, so we just have a couple more minutes and a couple more questions. So we should be able to to buzz through this pretty quickly and get you guys uh, back to your desks here in the next three minutes. Um, if Cosential went away tomorrow, um, how would your team be be tracking sales and and leads and opportunities and and you know new project engagements? I think we go back to the limited stuff in Vista and head and I mean you know like very limited. Um, it's our our marketing team would be very sad because they are so excited about having all the information at their fingertips and knowing what they need to collect from from the project team and the business development team. I think it would be um, and then they'd come back and ask me to run reports for them again. <laughs> Were you guys big great. spreadsheet users prior, prior to Cosential? Were you guys tracking a lot of opportunities and project information on spreadsheets? We had spreadsheets. We had stuff in brains. We had other files, meetings, some that not some maybe all the the right people were invited to or not. You know, it was just this yep. just gives it. It's all out in the open. Everybody knows what's going on. It's great. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. So uh, our last question for Kim, and, and thank you again, Kim, for, for taking the time to, to do this with us today. Um, any advice that you might give other firms that are seeking out this integration? Um, you know, I was thinking about this, and um, I think a diverse implementation team is really great. We had, you know, marketing person and myself who had kind of touched Vista in lots of different ways and really understood the Vista system, I think like that is really, really critical. Um, and just lean heavily, and I don't, on Cosential, they are experts at this. They have seen all kinds of things, and um, they have a lot of really great ideas and solutions. Um, and holding too tightly to your process and your systems that you currently have really will slow down um, the efficiencies that you see out of Cosential. They, um, I guess, just be open to what what they might suggest because all all of them have been big wins for us. Wow, that's that's my favorite answer of the day. Do do what Cosential <laughs> tells you to do. 
<laughs> well, awesome. We uh, we we certainly value RNH as a customer. We value uh, your relationship with us, Kim. So thank you very much for everything. Um, Carrie, if you're if you're still on with us, uh, any questions come through that you'd like us to address? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, we have um, one question. Um, um, what kind of data problems should we be looking at for when integrating softwares like Vista and CRM, like Essential? Great question. Kim, do you want to take that or would you like me to? Um, how about you take a stab at that one first? Let's see. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So, um, you know, data integrity is critical to your CRM system working the way it should. Um, you know, bad data in, bad data out. Anytime you're integrating two systems with similar data, um, you have to be very careful because, you know, anytime you're looking at an integration like that, you're ripe for duplication issues. Um, and duplication issues can be devastating to a database. Um, so what we do on our side to safeguard is we identify uh, individual unique identifiers for every object that we keep in sync. So that way, um, you know, for example, within Cosential, you have a parent-child relationship that doesn't exist within Viewpoint. So we use customer IDs to tie those subsidiary or child customers up to the right client um, company within Viewpoint. And so similarly, contacts, opportunities, projects, all those things have unique identifiers to make sure that you're not overriding good information or creating duplicate information whenever you integrate and bring more information in. So. Great question. Um, any other yeah, questions, I was, Carrie? I was going to say, oh. once we tested, you know, all through our testing, we really haven't had any data problems at all. I mean, you know, we once we got everything mapped, it's, it's really been flowing nicely. Awesome. Great to hear. Um, I, I know that we are uh, per pushing the bullet here, but I do have one more, and I and I think it's it's probably a good one. And that's kind of like wh where should we start? Should um, you know uh, our customers start with you know a one directional sync, or should they just go straight into a bi directional? Well, I would say first off, start by engaging Cosential and taking a look at the software and determining for yourself whether CRM. Um, has value to your operations. We certainly believe pretty pretty strongly that it will. Um, but you know, reach out to Cosential. Let us show you um, how Cosential works. Um, and it really, whether you should dive into a, a one-way integration or a two-way integration, is really going to depend on your use case. It's really going to depend on what kind of problems you're trying to solve, what your sales process looks like today. Um, you know, some companies don't like the two-way integration because some accounting folks just simply do not want you know those crazy sales and marketing people to be sending information from Cosential into their database. Um, so for some firms, just simply the people you have on staff um, will determine whether a one-way integration or a two-way integration is, is more valuable for you. Um, there's value in, in either direction, um, but we'd love to, to understand your use case and you know we can we can recommend what we think is going to be uh, the best fit for you. All right, that sounds perfect. Those are the only questions um, that had come through. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself, Carrie Lawson with Viewpoint, or Cosential. Their information is there on the screen. Um, and we'll be happy to um, answer any questions you have. Thank you, Andy and Kim. Really appreciate your time. Um, and I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Thanks, everybody. Happy holidays to everybody.